I'm Dave Ford. In this screencast, I'm going to show how easy it is to use a spreadsheet, in this case I'm using Excel, but you could use any of the other spreadsheet softwares, to create a list of dates where you want to have a repeating pattern. Let's say you're creating like a scheme of work and you want uh, the dates for all of the Wednesdays between now and a certain date in the future. I've seen a lot of people who'll sit there with like a little diary, flick through and they'll manually type in all of the dates and that just is slow and tedious because it's very very easy to do it using a spreadsheet. And there's two different ways that I use, I'll show you both of them here. So the first one, I'm going to type in the 30th of the 11th 2011 which happens to be uh, a Wednesday and if I wanted to have all of the other Wednesdays from now through until about Easter what I could do is in the cell below that oh before I continue it's important that we enter it as a date now what I mean here is I'm entering it as 30 and then a slash 11 slash 11 now it's automatically recognized it's a date and it's converted the year into 2011 if I'd done it with dots, so 30.11.2011, it wouldn't work, this technique, because it wouldn't recognise that it is a date. It would just see it as a, a load of numbers with dots in between. So it's important that it recognises it as a date. It's also worth noting that if your computer has been set up in an American setup, your dates and your months will be the wrong way round. It will be uh, month and date then year rather than date then month then year. Uh, but at the moment I'm assuming that it's set up correctly with the UK version. So, what I'm going to do next is in the cell below, I'm going to type a formula by doing equals. I'm then going to take the date that's above it, which in this case is A2, and then I'm going to do plus 7. So my formula reads equals A2, because that's the cell above, plus 7. And once I press, when I press enter, it will work out that uh, it's added 7 days onto the previous one, and it's given me the 7th and the 12th. Now what I can do is I can click on that new cell that I've created which in my case is A3 if I click on the little black square in the bottom right corner and I drag down it will copy that formula down so I can then create a whole load of dates each of which refers to Wednesdays now the clever thing with this is it knows how many dates there are in each month so it will automatically correct at the end of the month and it even recognizes that next year is a leap year so it's put the 29th of February 2012 is the correct day. It is a Wednesday, it is the leap year. If I then came back and thought, oh actually I'm not going to run my training sessions on a uh, Wednesday, I'm going to run on Tuesday, I could just change the date in the top cell and it would then change all of the dates below to be the corresponding Tuesdays that follow through. So that's one technique, just, just by using a formula that adds 7 to the date above. Another way of doing it is I'm going to enter my first date, this time I'm going to go for the 29th of the 11th, is uh, I enter the first date, I then manually enter the second date, so it's the 6th of the 12th, 11. If I now highlight both of these cells, so I have to select both of them, and then I go for the bottom right corner and I copy down, what it does is it recognises that there is a pattern between the top cell and the second cell, and it recognises that that pattern is add 7 days and it will then apply that pattern and copy it down and you can see by looking at this that the dates are the same so it's got the same desired uh, output now the difference between the two is if I was going to copy and paste this into another application for example Word these are just dates, each of these is just a date, it's not a formula it's an actual number so if I just highlight that click on copy, go into Word it will paste quite nicely with this technique it may not paste as nicely because it might try and copy the formula across rather than the values that the formula has. Also if I wanted to change my list for any reason, so let's say we recognize that this is two days after Christmas, I'm not going to be running a training session on that day, if I came in and I deleted that cell it will then mess up all of the dates below it, whereas in this system I can delete that cell and it doesn't alter everything that's below it. So there's two different techniques. I use a combination of both, mainly this technique, uh, but there are situations where I use the other one. But that's how easy it is to create a list of um, repeating dates using Excel rather than typing them in manually.